Check it out. Today, we're making crab bisque with some delicious crab meat fritters. This recipe is featuring our Florida citrus flavor base. Let's start with the batter for the fritters. That's the most complex part. After that, everything's a piece of cake. We'll get this mixed up and well incorporated. Then we'll add our Shala OG seasoning, also known as original seasoning, and we'll get this mixed till it's nice and smooth. No matter what type of protein you'd like to turn into a fritter or even vegetables, dip it in the batter and get it into some hot oil and you are off to the races. I'm gonna go with some blue crab claw meat, but you'd also make fritters out of conch, shrimp, chicken, even ground beef. You wanna gently fold this in so that the meat is well incorporated into the base. Now when it comes to deep frying fritters, you wanna use an oil that's really light in flavor. So I went with canola oil, but your preferred oil is gonna be best for you. We're gonna get this to about between 350 and 365 degrees, and then we're gonna just dip these in with a spoon, and when it gets to a nice golden brown, that's when you know they're about ready to come out of the oil. Here's a money shot. Look at all that crab meat. This is gonna be perfect for dipping. All right. Let's get started on the star of the show, this crab bisque. All you're gonna need is lump crab meat. I got about four Dungeness crab clusters, a little bit of diced onion, some flour, heavy cream, the shallah flavor base, and that's pretty much it. As you've seen in my previous videos, for these types of soups and stews, I like to start with a light roux. I'm not gonna let this roux cook too long because I wanna keep it light in color. We're gonna go in with the onions and then we're gonna saute those until they take on a clear texture. Then we'll add the remainder of the liquids. This recipe is a guaranteed showstopper for special occasions and weeknight meals. This recipe is featuring our Shala flavor base, Florida citrus. You can also use gumbo or original flavor base for this recipe as well, but personally, I like to use a citrus. Whatever you do, make sure you get every ounce of sauce out of that flavor-based bottle. Because our sauces are concentrated, throw in a little bit of water or broth, shake it up to make sure when you're done with the Shala sauce bottle, it's clean and you've gotten every ounce of flavor. I'm gonna use an immersion blender to kind of mince up those onions to they're super small and you can't see them in the final presentation. But by all means, if you wanna keep the onions chunky in your soup, do what's best for you. Once we get done here, you wanna add your lemon juice, give it a taste test, add your salt to taste. Now we're gonna add our four Dungeness crab clusters to really draw out a lot of that rich, sweet crab flavor into the base. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Now, this is also an optional step. What I'm gonna do is take the crab clusters out and I'll add those to the bowl for the final presentation. But now I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna add the lump crab meat for even more flavor and to have a lot of meat in the soup base. If you like this recipe and wanna see more from Shala Foods, please hit that subscribe button. Check out our other recipes. Visit our website, shalafoods.com. We got tons of recipes to try on our recipes page. You will not regret it. This will definitely change the way you cook and also shorten the time it takes that you need to be in the kitchen. 30 minutes or less and you're eating.
restaurant quality meals. That's it. You can serve this as is. We're gonna add our fritters on the side for dunking, a Dungeness crab cluster. Enjoy, your guests are gonna love it.